Are you going to watch the new Bad Up and Auto video on voting for Harris? Similar to the FT Signifier one you just watched. Oh, do I want the headache? Just because Israel bad does not mean Iran good. Okay? Stop being not smart like horse child man. Hey. Hey, he got a haircut. Look at this handsome devil. All right. This is voting during the genocide. I struggle with bad empanada because I agree with a lot of what he says. And he's fucking nuts. Hey, I... let's talk about voting, specifically in regards okay. to the ongoing discussions regarding voting in the upcoming U.S. presidential election. All right. You know, the exact same discussion from 2016 and 2020. Now, in general, my stance on elections where all the options suck is that if you don't have any other more pressing commitments on the day... If you ignore his Twitter, you can make it through. Bana Panada is a man who has generally pretty decent political takes internationally. And when he engages online, he is the most cynical hack piece of shit you've ever seen. I'll give you some examples. Bada Panada jumped to the defense of Keffels when I was criticizing Keffels over a year ago. Why? Because he saw someone who is sort of um, uh, Mike from PA, sort of adjacent, kind of in that like general sort of general sort of cluster, who was a trans person. He thought, "Ooh, ooh." Ooh, this guy hasn't been as frothing as at the mouth anti vosh as I've been. I can use this to berate other people. Like he plays the same he plays the same shitty game. Like he's he's make no mistake. Bad and Panada is identical to Vosh. He just he just picked a different character sheet. Okay, he went he went cleric instead of bard or something. You might as well just head down to the polls and vote. Just spend a couple of hours voting for whoever it is that you consider to be the least bad. Don't waste any of your- President Sunday, but don't you do that with Brianna Wu? Do what with Brianna Wu? What are you talking about? Bran Brianna Wu is like a psychotic, pathological liar. What do I do with Brianna Wu? Your time actually advocating for or supporting the candidates or anything like that. Rather, just show up and vote if you're able to, because, you know, why not? I'm not going to break your balls over it if you don't, though. But this time around, in regards to the U.S. election... I will, because here's the deal. If you, if uh, Kamala loses and Trump wins, your uh, freedoms are going to be significantly more curtailed than they would have been otherwise. Your potency in the next election will be significantly weaker than it would be otherwise. And the entire Overton window will be shifted in Trump's favor, in the right's favor, radically. And that will be very much in the favor of people who are conducting the genocide as opposed to people who are opposed to it. And that's it. That's it. I don't see I don't see Bad Empanada organizing some on the ground practical action to take over the US government and stop it from doing what it's doing. I see somebody who is attempting to feed the worst impulses of people who feel really good about telling themselves, you know what? Fuck it, the whole system the whole system's against us, man. Why even bother? And yeah, the whole system is against you, man. But why bother is because at this point in time, you have a couple of buttons that can make it a little bit worse and a little bit easier for the next time the buttons are presented to you. That's why. Because why the f***? Why the f*** you say, look guys, it's the Roman Empire in control. Why bother thinking or doing anything? They'll only laugh at me. There's another factor. The ongoing Gaza genocide. The present US government, led by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, is very deeply implicated in this genocide. Yes! Yes! And Trump is furious about that. Because he wants it to be him. He would be so much more supportive of the genocide. And those are your options. Because nobody else has a shot. I don't know how to explain this to you, George. No, nobody else has a chance. That's it. That's it. Too far beyond the level. Let the video play out. What are you, his agent? Level of criminal responsibility. Of course, we all know that they are very unlikely to face the consequences that they very much deserve. But in a yeah. just world, we would not be talking about Harris's election bid right now. We'll be talking about whether it'll be 500 or 5,000 life sentences. There oh boy. Oh boy, guys. He's spitting right here in imagination land. The baddies. Wouldn't get away with evil. Damn. Damn, I love this man. 
People only hate him because he speaks the truth. There is this reality-denying narrative being peddled, though, where it's pointed out that on occasion, Biden and Harris have said stuff like, oh, gee whiz, gee willikers, that Netanyahu fella seems to be going a bit too far. It's and Jimmy G. Willikers, actually, get it right. That's being trotted out as like smoking gun evidence that they are actually against the genocide. No, no, it is not smoking gun evidence they are against the genocide. Biden has been a self-described Zionist for a very long time. A very long time. It is smoking gun evidence that Biden and Harris can be pushed more than Trump can on that issue, that they are not enthusiastic supporters of any extent that Netanyahu will take, which is a, 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 a weak seeming but significant distinction when the alternative is someone who will curtail your freedoms domestically and enthusiastically support the genocide abroad. And hence, you should vote for them because they will stop it. But the US has backed this genocide from the very beginning. Like, who are you guys fooling? They've done everything possible to further it both materially and diplomatically. The administration's occasional public pronouncements that appear to send a different message are public relations exercises with no actual practical material effect. The entire point of them saying that stuff is to give their supporters a little bit of ammo so that they can point to it and say, Hey, look, Harris said the right series of words. She's actually against the genocide, so you have no excuse not to vote for her now. While they ignore the 10 shipments of American bombs, that that left port for Israel that very day, sent by the very government that she is the second in command of. Yeah, but that's the crucial point though, she's the second in command of it, so she doesn't actually have the final say on those, and doesn't matter, because those would be trumpeted by a Trump administration. We support the Israeli state. Boom! The Biden administration gave them 20 billion of weapons, we'll give them 40! When the U.S. wants to force a much... I know, the vice president's not second in command. It's not, I know it's not how that works. It's like... It's because it's because here's the deal. George doesn't need to get things right. George is doing the exact same thing that FD Signifier is doing. The exact same thing that Vosh is doing. Just you fucking name it. This is the shtick. You guys are angry and upset. The world sucks. Your job sucks. Okay? You maybe are overeducated. You're not going to be... Your education level is not going to be honored by the kind of career you have before you. Uh, you are not respected publicly. You see a whole lot of things in the news about people you have sympathy for being destroyed, and you can do nothing about it. Nothing about it at all. So, along comes George Vosh, FD Signifier, etc., etc., who says... And the reason why are these people who so happen to be the people who annoy you in your day-to-day -day life. The hippies, the yuppies, the bougies, etc., etc. It's them. Aren't you angry at them? Don't they, don't they suck? Don't they smell funny? Etc., etc. Don't do what they're doing. Just do... Ugh. And said it's going to trails off at that point. Because there is no plan. He has no fucking clue what you're going to do if Kamala loses. And he doesn't care. He's an, he's an Australian in fucking Argentina who makes money. More money if Trump wins, by the way. Oh. Oh, be assured, dear friends. If Trump wins the election, we, and by we I mean content creators on the left, we will eat well. Very well. Very well indeed. But it ain't gonna help you. And, uh, hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you. If, uh, if you don't vote for Kamala, Kamala's gonna be that much less likely to win. If Kamala does not win, Trump will win. If Trump wins, you will be putting into place someone who has already stacked the Supreme Court with conservative Catholics, who have already created havoc in American law, setting back environmental uh, policy, potentially close to a century at this point, um, and 
who is deeply entangled with people who want to radically reform the government so that the executive branch has almost no oversight, similar to what Netanyahu is doing, and who will enthusiastically support your genocidal allies abroad. But it's okay because Vosh is a PO anyways, right? smaller and weaker country undergoing a military action that it disapproves of into changing its course, it doesn't look like this. It looks like this. In every way that actually matters, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are themselves Wait, active party- I didn't catch that. What was the what? Shipments of American bombs that left port for Israel that very day, sent by the very government that she is the second in command of. When the US wants to force a much smaller and weaker- She's not by the way, because that's not how American government works. The vice president is not the second in command, but- The country undergoing a military action that it disapproves of into changing its course, it doesn't look like this. It looks like this. In every way that actually matters, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are themselves active participants in this genocide with clear command responsibility as the leaders of the very country that is primarily responsible for propping Israel up in the first place. And this is precisely what you would have expected of them. It's not like their support for Israel is something new. They both have long and storied histories of supporting it in all kinds of its crimes. So does Trump. What's your point? Crimes. Long before this specific- Who's the Green Party member who's winning? Who's the libertarian who's, who's, who's like making an actual serious bid for the candidacy? Who's opposed to supporting the Israeli- Like who- wh what's the- How's the- How's the- how, how's the Communist Party doing? Like what, what's the- what- Who? Who, George? specific and particularly severe one began. I mean, Netanyahu just toured the US Capitol to rapturous bipartisan applause. Who is it that you guys think you're fooling here? And while we're on the topic of these ridiculous partisans for Biden and Harris, they often like to frame themselves as merely reluctantly voting for these candidates because they are the least bad of the two on offer. To be clear, the Green Party candidate also doesn't have a great track record for genocide. Uh. Mr. Wynn says, I feel like a lot of my fellow leftists are drawing a false equivalence between Kamala and Trump to justify not voting when they never were anyway. Offer, and they simply have no option but to vote for them. You know, it's not that they actually support them for real or anything. It's actually really lamentable and sad. They're basically being forced at gun- They don't support them for real or anything. Point to vote for child-killing Kamala. This is in- As opposed to not child-killing Trump? That's the choice! That's the choice, George. That's the choice, which you know, by the way. You fucking know, because you play the exact same game. I've seen you defending every single huckster on here until they turned on you, because you were hopeful to scoop up a little bit of their clout. You know. You know. Your entire shtick... Your entire shtick is to feed people goon material whose entire world mentally is just hating on leftist streamers online. That's it. That's it. Just your seething resentment. You're welcome, Brooks. Against a world that has not anointed them as the the acknowledged and respected correct party that's it that's it you have nothing to say nothing at all there's going to be no solution here what do you think a solution is going to be hey guys instead of voting for kamala you should bleh. there won't be anything hey sunday can i interest you in leading a takeover of the cpusa i am canadian sir but thank you Incredibly you have 10 times as many subs as they have members, quite possibly. ...hard to square with the way they actually treat these candidates, though. Take those who claim to be reluctantly voting for Biden back... Oh, here we go. Contrapoints, the majority report, Vosh. ...in 2020 as an example, even before the present Gaza genocide existed as a factor. It became very clear after the election that they weren't simply casting a reluctant vote for a war criminal segregationist rapist, simply because the alternative was even worse, with the somber tone that you would expect coming from people in a situation like that, who were supposedly being backed into a corner and practically forced to vote for the guy. Rather, they outright took to creating positive propaganda to support him, and cheerled his supposed accomplishments. The Th those first videos were from three years ago? This one is from one year ago. Okay. 
Like, why is it all Vosh? What gets clicks? Bad Empanada makes money from clicks. He is not picking his positions on principle. This is a niche. This is a market he has become dependent upon. Bad Empanada doesn't believe any of this. None. None at all. That's why he will defend all of these creeps as soon as they show him like any lick whatsoever, any any hint of acceptance. That's it. That's it. Again, my one of my earliest one of one of my earlier exposures to Bad Empanada, uh besides the Vosh thing, was him defending Keffel's from me just jumping in there why are you attacking a trans person like fucking freak hook to creating positive propaganda to support him and cheerlead his supposed accomplishments because they were he does a stream he doesn't talk until he gets a super chat well there's a strategy supporters all along who had strategically pretended otherwise either to try and sway undecided voters to their candidates or in the case of content creators because it wouldn't be cool or profitable enough for them to simply own what they actually believe so they instead chose to frame themselves as far more radical than they actually are for the yeah yeah george that's what they did george election cycle it's the same thing again here and from the exact same people too the same sort of support coming from the same supposedly reluctant democrat supporters except this time around okay, let's take a vote whose teeth would you rather have wicks or bad empanadas and it really doesn't quite hit the same to make epic memes out of the democratic party leaders when everyone in their dog knows that they are the government while the government is doing genocide this speaks to something of a problem of perception in the Western world, where Westerners seem unable to properly conceive of- Technically bad empanadas I could sell one to work for profit. True. True. Their monsters as the monsters who they actually are. They would have no issues seeing, say, Slobodan Milosevic as unequivocally the butcher of Bosnia, practically as a little more than an animal driven by nothing but instinct. Yet Joe Biden, guilty of even worse crimes, is more likely to be perceived as some sort of oafish, lovable grandpa type guy. Someone who's just genuinely trying to do his best for everyone and who occasionally messes up, rather than the mass murdering, genocidal monster who he actually is. They have no problem seeing Vladimir Putin as a cartoon villain. Yet even many people who seem to believe that they are genuinely supporters of the Palestinian cause are totally fine memifying Kamala Harris, who is again the vice president of the country that is presently backing the worst genocide that the world has seen in around 30 years. She is the American who out of all Americans is the second most responsible for what is happening in Gaza. The fact that there are now- Uh, literally not though, just to be clear. Biden does not ask the permission of the vice president to send support to Israel for what it's doing in Gaza. This is a stupid thing to say. This is an incredibly st stupid thing to say. Biden's Secretary of State are both more, uh, more influential. Like, like it's, it's so dumb. And even if, even if it was the case that the VP had to co-sign every decision Biden made, Every single one or else they wouldn't go through. Trump would have signed more radical, would have, would have, would have given much more radical support anyways. Generals have way more say the cabinet assistants are more involved. Like, it's Kamala or Trump. Those are the choices. That's it. You don't, you don't have other ones. That's it. That's all you got. There's two doors. There aren't three. There aren't four. I'm holding six fingers. There aren't that many doors. Thousands of videos all over social media of the mangled corpses of Palestinian children and babies is in large part on her. Anyway, have you- Jill Stein, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jill Stein. Hey, what's Jill Stein's position on Israel? Let's, let's, let's check here. So, she has no plan for Gaza. She's just opposed to Gaza. Okay. So she accuses Israel of genocide, but she also has no chance of winning the election. Sir Shah, thank you for the 10 US dollars. I meant to say earlier, black voters aren't important, yet too important to Palestinians to criticize black Americans while dying in mass to Raytheon munitions. Enough of these losers theory. Stein is weird on Gaza. 
From the look of it, Stein is waffling on Gaza. Clip shows Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein saying that the Jewish people have a homeland in Poland. It doesn't matter. She's not, she's not going to win. It doesn't matter. 